Impasse Veni, Impasse Venu. In this class, we will learn our first banishing exercise, used for small protections and cleanings in nodes and in an environment. Exercise 32. Generating Enthusiasm. Find a poem, story, or song that makes you excited, for example, Novo Aeon, by Raul Satius, that makes me feel that way. When you're alone and you're sure you won't be disturbed, read it or sing it out loud. Be as flamboyant and over-the-top as you can. Acting as if you are passionate can bring about a sense of excitement and excitement. Even if the feelings aren't immediately there, if you keep reading and put yourself inside the roleplay, the enthusiasm you put into the performance will generate the energy you need. This works for performing in a ritual even if we don't feel passionate, we are able to produce passion by reading the ritual's words with force and confidence. We express passion with our voices when we are intensely inspired, that's why actors would make good magicians. If you find it difficult to act in a ritual, take a course that involves theater. We also express passion by making large, decisive gestures. Gesture in magic is a very fast and efficient way of generating and moving energy. In general, moving the arms and legs close to the body generates a closed, protected circle of energy, while moving the arms and legs away from the body directs energy outward. The most economical gesture is the one we perform with our hands. By placing the hands in a certain position, we are able to evoke a divinity, to move the internal energy of the body and to send the energy to the world, person or object, with a specific purpose that hand gestures specific with certain mental states. Every time we make the gesture, we will have the trigger for the state we want to induce. Exercise 33. The Meditation Gesture. Sit with your legs crossed or kneel on your heels. Set a stopwatch to one minute. Place your hands on your knees, palms facing down. Inhale and bring your hands up, palms facing up, bringing your thumb and forefinger together. For a minute, do a breathing meditation. When the timer rings, place your hands back on your knees, palms facing down. Repeat four times, adding one minute to each repetition. Repetition deepens association with a trigger. Soon you will feel yourself entering a meditative trance as you turn your hands and make a circle with your index finger and thumb. Most magic gestures involve body movement. There are specific postures that practitioners adopt when performing magic rituals. Exercise 34. Throne. Sit in a chair with your knees slightly apart, with your arms resting on your thighs. Keep your back straight and your head straight, as if you were a king, queen, on your throne. This is an excellent position for guessing, or for concentration exercises. Exercise 35. Sit on your heels. Kneel on the floor, keeping your body straight. Bring your big toes together and slightly spread your knees. Now lower your buttocks against your heels. This is a comfortable position to hold for a long time. People who find it difficult to sit cross-legged prefer this position to maintain themselves for a long period of time. It has the advantage of bringing all the chakras into alignment. Exercise 36. Lie down. Lie on the floor, keeping your body straight and your arms at your sides. This is the ideal position for deep meditation, astral projection, or any other operation that can cause our body to fall. Maybe you want to fall asleep. If you feel sleepy, you can switch to sitting on your heels. We'll use these positions in rituals when we get there. However, magic practitioners also move. The most common movement is to walk in a circle. Exercise 37. Walking in circles. Where you can walk in a slightly large circle, start on the east side of the room and face the wall. Slowly turn to the right and face the south side and, walking consciously, move slowly in a circle around the room. When you reach the place of origin, slowly turn around and face the wall. Repeat the operation, but now include a single vowel chant, chanting the vowel A with your vibrational note as you move. End the chant when the operation is over. Every ritual that creates a ritual space will use some variation of this circumnavigation. Magic practitioners generate a vortex of energy by moving their entire bodies around a space. 
This vortex can be designed to create a circular or spherical space in which practitioners work and can attract a specific type of energy or create a whirlpool, which will be expelled for a specific purpose. We can see this in tribal dances, Wiccan and shamanic rites. Dance is occasionally used in a circular direction to create a space for ritual, but is more commonly used to produce a specific type of energy or to induce trance. World cultures are filled with body movements that lull the brain to sleep hypnotically. Exercise 38. Trance, swing. Sit in a chair or on the floor, cross-legged or on your heels. Choose a position where you can swing comfortably. Set a stopwatch to one minute. Swing your torso forward as much as possible, then back and forth again. Swing at a pace that is comfortable for you. A good exercise to combine with the chanting of a vowel. Exercise 39. Trance, spin. Do this exercise in an unfurnished space. Set a stopwatch to one minute and turn slowly. If you feel dizzy, stop and turn in the other direction. Dervishes, Sufi mystics, known as whirling Muslims, use the whirling trance as a form of spiritual meditation. Magic practitioners use specific gestures to move energy. Exercise 40. Pentagram. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart. Keep your dominant arm, the hand you write on, in front of your left knee. Now bring it straight down to the middle of your forehead. Bring it, still straight, to your right knee. Always connecting the points in a straight line, start from the right knee to the left shoulder, right shoulder, and back to the left knee, ending the banishment. This pentagram is the banishment of the earth pentagram. Golden Dawn mages use it to banish the earth element, or weight, into a space. Witches of natural traditions use it to expel negative energies from a place or to protect themselves, sealing their body so that nothing enters. Practice this exercise until you no longer need to read to practice it. So far we have learned to move consciously, to observe our emotions and to move energies with gestures and movements. Next, we combine all these learnings, learning to live in the world with a calm mind, using our senses, and we will practice a manifestation technique. We will also learn to expand our senses using simple psychic development exercises to predict the future, send and receive thoughts. Thanks for making it to the end of this video. If you liked it, like, share and, if you can, consider supporting this channel so that our project can reach more people. Support links in the description. Impasse Veni, Impasse Va.